I'd like to go over one of the accessories that I find useful for LCMS, LCMS, MS systems, and that is a syringe pump. Syringe pump holds a syringe. My favorites are the 5 ml and the 1 ml gas tight syringe. And the job of the syringe pump is to push the plunger displacing fluid at a constant rate. Um, this guy here is a relatively inexpensive syringe pump. It's about 300 bucks. And uh, if you get a less expensive syringe pump, then you can make experiments, make changes with it, and even though you void the warranty and accept all responsibility for any consequences that you do, right? so if you make changes like I make changes, then those changes are your responsibility. Both the uh, 5 ml and the 1 ml gas tight syringes have the same displacement length. So if I set up the controls for a 5 ml syringe flow, if I swap syringes, I don't bother changing the display and the diameter. I just know to divide the display by 5. That is one fifth of the flow is what the syringe is actually going to deliver if I use a 1 ml syringe instead of a 5 ml syringe. So one of the changes I made to this unit is I added a micro switch. And this unit has some good power and if you put a plastic syringe in here and you let it go all the way it can crush that plastic syringe. So I wanted something to stop the mechanism when it got close to the end and um, let me know. So what I did was, and I only do this because this power is only 12 volts DC. If this was an AC power, I would not do this at all. Okay. So 12 volts DC, I'm pretty comfortable with that. And then this is a micro switch. Right. The micro switch has, so there's 12 volts coming in here, and in this configuration, it's going out here. And the 12 volt is now here. All right. um, as the syringe pump moves and pumps right. and we'll set this baby up and I'm going to pause it and get the plunger close to bottom. Okay, as it starts getting close to the end here right, you see the plunger's moving da 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 so, right. it's close to the end and starts depressing the lever on the micro switch and okay it stops pumping and the lights go on so how does this work? alright so now in this configuration the 12 volts is coming in here and going out here and all right, 12 volts. Well, I actually have four LEDs. Okay. You can get four LEDs, yeah, 50 cents a piece max. Right. And so three of these are little blinky guys. Yeah, one's a straight one. Anyway, it takes three volts to power an LED. You put four of them in series, 12 volts will activate four LEDs. Yeah, not bad, huh? All right. Make sure uh, if you do this, remember, I accept no responsibility for any of your modifications or actions. Um, I like slide connectors, insulated slide connectors. Micro switch, 
at five to fifteen bucks. LEDs, a couple of bucks. Uh, connectors, all right, right up to you know a couple bucks there. All right. Then if we look at the back, back end. All right. So yeah, you have to you have to get inside the chassis, but if you're comfortable with it, yeah, it's not so bad. For syringes and fittings, I like the uh, Lure Lock Taper Teflon inside. Right. Like that. For the syringe, um, this setup here has a This is a Kellef hub needle, right? and then it's pretty close to 16th inch OD, right. finger type fitting, 16th inch, 16th inch zero dead volume fitting. Right. And if we unscrew this. Um, this Teflon sleeve here, I don't know if it's visible, or the Teflon sleeve over the fuse silica. Fuse silica is uh, 360 micrometers outside diameter, inside diameter. I like uh, uh, 150, 100 microns. Uh, um, and then this is a, uh, a ferrule, double sided uh, ferrule. Uh, and then this is a Nominal finger tight stainless steel fitting. The other way is if we just have 16th inch OD Teflon tubing, uh, 15 thousandths ID. Uh, 15 thousandths ID is just a little bit bigger than 360 microns, so. The 15 thousandths ID makes the nice sleeve for this, and then again we have our uh, polymer ferrule. All right. So a syringe pump is a pretty little handy accessory to have in uh, with an LC system. Uh, you can do flow injection analysis, infusion, post column derivatization, and probably the consequence that you must keep in mind is that when I made the change slash modification to my syringe pump, I knew I would be voiding the warranty for the syringe pump, and I accepted that consequence. As they say in some other videos, uh, no warranty is expressed or implied. Any co adverse consequences are not the responsibility of myself or any organization that I work for. If you make changes to your equipment or equipment that you are responsible for, then those changes are your responsibility. The consequences are your consequences.